Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Rights of Man as Ferrara. It doesn't look so good. We need stronger allies in a big way. Um, yeah, things happened. Stuff and things happened. We declared war on Siena to try and take some land off the Pope. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really take into account the fact that Austria would then declare war on Milan to try and take land back for Switzerland. So that kind of all fell into a horrible mess and collapsed and did bad things. Anyway, so we now need to give them war reparations. Which kind of sucks to Siena. But at least at least we didn't get full annexed, which probably would have happened if we tried to peace out with uh, the Pope. We currently have two loans. Uh, we can't repay either of them. Because we have no money. And in fact, rather than building that, let's get 50% of our investment back. Let's see if we can maybe repay a loan. We can repay all loans. Even better. Sure. Why not? We now have no loans. Even better. Uh, Army, ma Army maintenance is down. We are trying to very slowly gain back our manpower. And in fact, let's see if we can't actually make that a little bit more. Let's bump you up a little bit in terms of maintenance. Yep, there we go. We've suffered some casualties. We're now paying to get our army back. Just a little bit. Uh, yeah, we kind of got wrecked. Turns out that the 11,000 troops that Florence had and the 15,000 troops that Milan had, along with however many Provence was able to supply, along with their vassal, was not enough in the slightest. Particularly once Austria got involved. Uh, yeah, it turns out they're 12 men. Pretty good. They're also on military level 6. We've only just made it to 4. Probably a bad idea. Yeah. Probably a very bad idea. Added to the fact that we now have no prestige whatsoever. Uh, and it is affecting everything, including our morale our yearly legitimacy, our ability to improve relations with people. So yes, our country is kind of in the suck. Uh, in between episodes, we did actually, we took on corruption somewhere, but I think it was either that or lose stability. We managed to lose stability anyway because we have a new ruler. He's a little bit better than the last guy. And we lost excommunication for a little bit, and then the Pope excommunicated us again. So that's fantastic. Turns out he really doesn't like us. Uh, we do have an heir who is uh, considerably better in terms of military than our current ruler. Uh, in spite of this, we did actually manage to get one within maybe a month of her becoming our consort. So that's nice. They all like us a little bit. It's sort of on the evens. We don't really, really want to do any messing around with these. If only because, yes, it sinks more prestige into something that we really don't have any prestige for. Uh, Austria is still a great power. Obviously, they gained a whole bunch of land up here and here. France managed to oh, make a few gains here and there. Not much has happened other than that. Oh, Switzerland got all of its land back. I think Castile now has a personal union of Aragon? Yes. So Naples now has a new... A new boss, a new partner. Nope. They were released. Oh, nuts. We now have a power player to the south of us. Who may in fact end up swallowing everything that we hold dear and love. Yikes. We are trying to improve relations with just about every anybody and everybody that we can think of. I mean, Man is quite obviously out of the question, so let's try and improve with Savoy. We've lost another... Uh, again. We just got the guy. Um, maintenance modifier is probably a better idea. Makes our army a little bit cheaper. Are we gaining any men back? A few. Not very many. 
Um, we can now recruit you, land maintenance modifier, minus 10, even better. Uh, we are in the business of making a little bit of money. The Pope really likes to excommunicate people. That doesn't really help us all that much currently. We don't have any debt. Monthly autonomy change is nice, however, we don't have a lot of autonomy and we can't go any lower than 25% there because it's owned by an estate. I guess the next one we're waiting for is the land maintenance modifier and the production efficiency, as well as the development cost. It's the last three, basically, that we need. Uh, we'll maintain the, the diplomat with Savoy. Do we have any room? We do. We have room for two. Well, we'll see if I can make this work. Um, let's bring you back. Marry you. And we'll see about marrying you. Cool. Maybe we might get... Offers of an alliance, possibly? Potentially? Yikes, they don't trust us at all. Why? Because we are the suck. Right, that would be why. Lovely. Uh, why don't you want to? Because we are still allied to your... Wait, who are you rival to now? Florence, Provence, and Milan. <sighs> you are really going to hate this. Very well. We'll continue to improve relations with all of them and hope that, that does something. Our prestige is slowly ticking back up. One a year. Lovely. Maintain the diplomat. Hope we get some alliance off offers. We are now going to sit at peace for the longest of times. Uh, we are only allied with Bohemia right now. Ronaldo is one of our guys. Yes, it is our yearly prestige man. No, go away. We don't have any papal influence. Anyway. So, why? Uh, we can now drop that. That's actually now up to full again. Lovely. Make all the money. Sort of. Ish. Um, let's build another bark. Because we can. Because we care. Because we care. And that'll bring us up to eight. Which will actually... How much... You're currently protecting trade in Venice. What does that do for us? In terms of income. Hmm. Not sure. If we had any vassals, that'd be nice, but we don't. We actually make a majority of our money from trade in the Venice nude. Um, there's not much point in collecting. We do actually need to transfer that. This is something we haven't had a look at. We'll spend the last minute of this episode looking at trade. Everything actually comes towards the Venice node. It's the end node. It's where we hold most of our power. Um, there's not much point collecting here. Let's just make sure that everything gets transferred onwards, I guess. So we're currently situated here and here. Uh, maybe having a few more merchants might be a nice idea at this point. Uh, what idea gives that? It would be probably under trade ideas, yeah. Get some more merchants there. Increases our trade power, trade range, trade efficiency and all that. Makes us a little bit more money. Um, I think we might actually want to go first, maybe something like I defensive ideas next. If only because, you know, 
pretty bad when it comes to our military. We are many techs behind everyone. Where are we? There we are. We're about to get number five, which is nice. It's good. Uh, we'll probably take that at the beginning of the next episode, though. We will see you all then.